All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, JM Football, doing a offensive line breakdown on a guy who I think is on his way to being the best right tackle in the NFL. If he's not now, he's not now, but he's on the way in his second year, and that's Penny Sewell uh, out of Oregon, second year for the Lions. Lions are one of the more fun offenses to watch just in general, but their offensive line play has been special, and a huge part of that has been Penny Sewell. So we're going to go through um, his pass pro, how he's winning versus different types of rushers, and then the like the value he brings in the run game. Usually we start with pass pro. Today we're going to start with like and subscribe. Forget about that. Start about, for, almost forgot about that. But this, I'm going to go through some pull stuff. And this is beautiful with just one, what Detroit's doing. But only a guy like Penny Sewell can pull this off. So we're going to do these pull plays to start. So line up at right tackle, obviously. This... Is so beautiful because they're pulling like Penny Sewell is pulling right, and this defensive end sees, hey, I'm unblocked, so he's thinking Penny Sewell is going to try and kick him out and do some type of, uh, and then the running back is going to go inside his hip. But teams know that, so what does Penny Sewell do? He gives this little look to force Hunter to get down and try and spill this inside, and then go. Lead block and allows for a big play. I mean, this is this is just good offense, and Penny Sewell is a huge part of it. I mean, look at the athlete that he is out in space. We're going to do the same thing. Same thing. Dip. Go. Go. I mean, just fires down the line. He's got that athleticism. I mean, we're the handoff is happening right now, and he's at his, essentially, his... His landing mark. You see, Danell Hunter dipping down to spill through this. That eliminates him from the play, not able to make a play. And then Sewell continuing at full speed, deliver a blow, deliver a blow, and a nice run for the Detroit Lions. Here, this was the week before. And I'm sure they built off of this. It's like, hey, look, he's spilling this time. So if you're not trying to get out on the corners, well, if they spill, a lot of guys just run into this and it muddies up the run for the running back. But Sewell, being the athlete he is, realize I'm not getting to the inside shoulder of Montez Sweat. Flip the hips and wrap around. And then the next play, just as a lead puller, Just finishing, dudes. Flat down the line. Roll the hips through it. Deliver the blow. Great hand placement. And just finish. Finish. Awesome stuff pulling for Pena Azul. Now let's go through the pass pro. This is versus Seattle. Seattle wants their pass rushers. And they you know have some speed to go outside in. Well, guess what? Pena shut that down. Fifty-two works a spin. One wash the feet. One, two, and the the footwork can get better. And this is like Penny Sewell has a lot of room for improvement. Like maybe you know want some shorter steps to where you're not you know shifting your weight too much. He works that in that spin move. Wash the left foot. Wash the left foot. Wash the wash the hands. Playing the piano on his back. He spins. Now your hands are inside. Your feet are good and wide. Nice base. Win the rep. They tried to work inside. Couldn't get it. So what happens now? Now they want to show an inside move. To try and get to the corner on Pene Sewell, which you just, you're going to struggle to do. Watch this left foot. They show an inside move. No panic from Penne. Just that little bit. That little bit shuts down an inside move if they want to. But if they go around the corner like they do, they don't have an edge they get. Penne still moves the feet. He's got right hand high, left hand on the small of the back. And fold his ass. I mean, that's just awesome stuff. Now versus Washington. Versus different types of pass rushers. Where they're going to try and work some speed to power. 
One, two, three. Hands are ready to ready to go. Works independent hands. So instead of doing the two hand punch, watch the, watch the left hand, and then the right hand. I mean, this is awesome hand placement. The feet, good balance. You got you've got your hands where you want them. This is like perfect pass pro. Next play. Now we're going against Montez Sweat, who's you know one of the longer pass rushers. Has these long arms. Tries the bench guys. Close that space. Like this is maybe the most impressive pass pro rep here, because we're setting. Montez Sweat at this point is thinking, okay, speed to power. I'm going to try and bench this guy off of me. Watch Penny Sewell close this. Get aggressive. Don't allow him to take that momentum. Get aggressive. Pass pro is impressive. Bring the bring the violence to him. Guess what? Now he's not able to use his hands the way he wants to. And you're winning. Watch him full speed. Set, set. Boom. Good stuff. Here versus the Vikings. Versus Danelle Hunter. We're running some play action. We're doing a jump set. Getting at him aggressive off the line of scrimmage. He wants to long arm you. He's got that hand. You know, Danelle Hunter has his hand where he wants it. Watch the right hand of Penne. Break it off. Don't let him lean on you. Break that right hand off. And make sure he stays down. So some just really good stuff against different types of pass rushes. And then some improvements he can make. Again, and this is nitpicking, but you know I think this guy's on his way to be the best. And this is the nitpicking that I think is going to get him there. Leaning a little bit. Maybe you want to, that hand is outside. Maybe you want to replace replace that hand. But his feet are great, so he wins the rep. Like even though it's not a perfect rep, and again, like I said, very nitpicky. The feet are good. The feet, or, sorry, excuse me. The feet are a little too skinny at this point. You know, so now there's some lean. And he tries, you know, he uses that weight, that lean against him to rip through. But again, the feet stay good. The feet correct. So we're there. Here versus Sweat. Again, getting to him aggressively. This is a very good rep. Bring the party to him. But again, a little bit of holding right here. That's usually not going to get called, but still it could be. Break that arm off of you like you did versus uh, the Vikings in Hunter. Break that arm off of you, or at the least, let go and rotate that hand inside on the hip and work him around the corner. Did you see Sweat's able to disengage? But again, nit nitpicking stuff. And then some stunt stuff. I mean, this is beautiful stunt pickup. 96 works inside. You can't see the left foot because of Jamin Davis, but trust me that... It's not swinging back. It's going horizontal. Pass this off. Move the feet. Don't overextend yourself. Stay on it. Make sure your right guard can get off. Don't come off of it until you have to. And then you get Payne, who's a really good defensive tackle with a full head of steam, and able to come off and shut this down. This next one, you run a play action. There's no immediate threat. Find work. Find work. Help your guys out. Bam. Put him on his ass. Put him on his ass, but don't. Play's not done yet. Now, this defensive tackle's looping around immediately. Bam. Get ready. Reload. Wash this guy around the corner. I mean, that's like just beautiful. That's beautiful football. Uh, in the run game, here versus uh, Hunter. You're going to run some wide zone. Good first two steps. You know, short, choppy. One, two, three, four. Hands land. 
extend, roll the hips, keep the feet moving, keep a good wide base, and now your running back's running right off your inside hip. Just one, two, three, punch, roll. Next play. Hands land. You got a good wide base. You roll the hips through. Keep the feet moving. You maybe like the feet just keep moving on contact, but no, keep the feet moving. Now he wants to redirect inside. So when they redirect inside, use that shift of weight of the defense alignment against him. And take him. And now you're driving a guy and flipping the hips. And you're running back scoring a touchdown. Touchdown versus the Seahawks. Working a combo to the linebacker. I mean, look at this movement. Look at working this to the linebacker. This linebacker has to play. They're running a light box, so they have to play one of two gaps. Don't come off to this linebacker until you absolutely have to. You got movement, which allows your running back to not make, uh, t you know, tell the linebacker where the play is going. And you just get a piece of him. And now Jamal Williams is off to the races and scoring a touchdown for the Lions. And then the last one I will go through is just. A reach block on the backside. It takes a lot of athleticism to pull this off. I'm sorry, this is this is a reach block, but not the most. Hands land, work the hip, flip the hips. Good feet, wide base, good knee bend, and flip those hips around. All of this is clogged up. You give your you give your back a gap to go. You give your back a crease to go. So really good stuff, man. He's one of my favorite players coming out of the draft. And I thought, even though there was some struggles in his rookie year, rookie year, there was a lot to like. And he's really improved. And I think there's more room for improvement with Penne. And I, I think he's going to be, you know, this time next year or two years, whatever, we're going to view Penne still as the best right tackle in the game. So like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're a Lions fan, we have like best runs of the week. It seems like the Lions are on it every single week. Your guys' offense is really fun to watch. So, uh, appreciate you guys. Let me know if there's any other O-linemen you want me to do. See you on the next one. Bam!